previously on balls. Right, speaking of being in action and uh, good news for the South African Davis Cup team. By the way, and, and Rick, forgive us because uh, most of us, except John, were on a was on a were on a cruise this weekend. So when you're out in the Indian Ocean, you get nothing. Um, although they have great TV on on board, but um, some of the stuff you don't see. What happened to uh, the, uh, the did Britain win their Davis Cup uh, tie against the US? Uh, they did, I believe. Yes, I believe um, Andy Murray ended up beating Sam Curry in four sets yesterday to yeah. give Great Britain a three-one win. Wow. First time since 1934 or something. Or eight or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That Long time. Beat yeah, America in a Davis good. Cup game. Anyway, so good luck to them. Well done to you, though. PJ clap yes. for our uh, South African side. Uh, Thank win- you. Winning against Monaco. Or is it Monte Carlo? What do they go as? Either or. Well, Monaco is the country. Yeah. Okay. Monte Carlo is yes, the city. <laughs> but they're the same thing. It's very really confusing. Pretty much. All right, so uh, that's a, uh, a three-two win over over Monaco on uh, Sunday. So uh, that's a first-round tie in the Euro Africa Group One uh, at Irene, which is nice to see it happening there. Yeah, for sure. And uh, you know, Irene's obviously got a special place in my heart because that's where uh, I spent all my youth and uh, where I hit my first tennis balls at the country club itself and had my first tennis lessons. And you know, so it's kind of kind of a neat experience to kind of bring it all back together to be able to play Davis Cup there. Absolutely. One all going into the uh, the doubles games. Of course, nice to have a, uh, a nicely fired up post-Australian Open Raven Klaassen uh, in action. Yeah, no, he was full of confidence. And, you know, I'd been watching him over the course of the end of last year and he'd been putting in good results. And it was just a case of uh, him playing well at the Grand Slams and really happy for him that he was able to do that. And, you know, get get the success and reward that he deserved for all his hard work. And then uh, great to see him using that confidence and coming through and helping Ruan and the team uh, get the win on Saturday to give us a 2-1 lead going into Sunday's reverse singles. Yeah, because it was, uh, by, all, by all accounts, a good team effort from you guys. Um, obviously, you getting upset in uh, in in the Friday game, it, it, a nail-biter, five-setter, eventually going down to Arniodo. Um, yes. So that kind of opened things up a little bit. So that, that doubles game was key to get you guys back on track. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously a little disappointing from my side having lost that match when I think everyone and myself included was expecting to win mm. that one. Mm. But uh, having said that also, I know uh, Nicola Skoltz's number two match against their number one, you know, he was probably the underdog there and uh, he showed great character to come come through that one also in five sets and give uh, bring it back to equal at, at one all and then... You know, definitely, I think the statistics are pretty high up for the country that wins the doubles tie, yeah. often goes on to win the match. So uh, it was important for us to win that one. I think it's, yeah, uh, the stats, I think it's very, very high. If it's at a one-all situation, say, if, if uh, I think if you zero two, 2 uh, and then they win the doubles tie, it, it's still a fairly high percentage, but not as big as obviously if you go into the doubles one-all. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, uh, well done on coming back and beating their number one uh, in straight sets as well. So uh, a much less tougher proposition. No one really predicted that it would have gone that way around in this tie, but uh, that basically clinched the tie for us. Yeah, no, I, um, we had a discussion with the team after the Friday singles and uh, everyone gave their input. And kind of on, on Sunday, I came out with a much clearer plan and idea of how I wanted to play. And uh, I came out and played a lot better and was happy with my performance, but it was a, an all-round team performance that got us to the weekend. All right. Now, just to explain, because uh, sometimes Davis Cup itself and the whole format uh, can be quite confusing and, and not, exactly. not everyone knows exactly where we are. We're in Group 1. What's that? One below World Group, right? Well, we're actually in Group 2 at the moment, group unfortunately. Two. Yeah, okay. we, um, Last year, we had a series of uh, tough away matches against some good countries, so we were relegated to Group 2 at the end of last year's. So now we're in the, the Euro Africa Group Two zone, yeah. and we have to win three matches to get back to Group One. So we won our first match now against Monaco, and the next match will get, be against Lithuania from the fourth to the sixth of April, which will also be played in South Africa. But they're discussing where the venue is going to be held. Explain to us why the ATP Tour official web- website is this from their website, Johnny? Yes, sir. ATP Tour official website call it a, a say. So there we go. Maybe, maybe they promoted you without knowing. Uh, w- uh, Rally to win over Monaco on Sunday in the first round of the Davis Cup Euro Africa Group One tie. Uh, <laughs> That's off the ATP they, website. 
they must have made a mistake there because uh, yeah, we're we're unfortunately we're in group two. All right, we'll send it to them. Like a screenshot, <laughs> send it to them and say, but you guys said it yourselves. We're in group you, one. Exactly. Thanks for Put the promotion. Right yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, sorry, just who do, who do you guys uh, who's left in uh, out of the? You say you got to win two more. Who's left in uh, in your path now? So uh, Lithuania, I think they beat Norway, so we get to play against them. And they've got a, a one fairly good player, a guy by the name of Richard Barankas, who used to be yeah. inside the top 100 players in the world. So he's a good player. Um, but we are playing in South Africa, so we'll have the choice of ground and conditions and et cetera and home support. So hopefully we'll be use, able to use that to our advantage. And then after that, I think we play the winner of Finland and maybe Denmark, I think. Okay. I expect Finland probably to win that match. And if they do, we play against Finland in Finland. Okay. How do they decide where you play, by the way? Uh, normally it goes on where you played last. So in 2008, we played against Monaco in Monaco. So the next time we played okay. against them, it was going to be in South Africa, and then it alternates back and forth. And if you never play against each other, they do a ring toss to decide where you play. All right. So you win your three ties, and basically your next step would be playing what the the, the sort of the worst team or the bottom team in the in Group One to see if you go up. Is it a promotion relegation thing, or do you automatically go? No, up? The, the promotion. Yeah, we automatically go up. The promotion okay. relegation uh, that happens only from Group One to World Group. All right. So we were doing that for the past couple of years where we lost to, I think, India and uh, Germany, Croatia and Canada in the last couple of years where we've been playing to get into World Group. All right. Well, we're back on the right track again. Well done, Rick, uh, to you and the team. Nice to catch up with you. And thanks a lot for talking to us today. And uh, good luck for the rest of the games. We'll keep tabs and uh, hopefully uh, chat you through to, uh, to Group 1 again. That will be great. Thanks very much for the I'll, support. Unless ATB just want to give you another promotion straight to World Group, which we'll be happy with. <laughs> well, yeah, awesome I'll follow stuff. up with that. Thanks, Rick. All the best, buddy. Cheers, Rick. All right, thanks again. Cheers, bye. Rick DeFust joining us. Uh, Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Radio like you've never seen it before. Balls.co.za